Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn about the analysis of clock sequential circuit. It is a very important concept in our digital logic design DLD. So you must know about the analysis of clock sequential circuit and how it's work. So in the diagram, you can easily uh, see that uh, in analysis of clock sequential circuit, we have one circuit given uh, in which we have uh, flip flops present in it we have to make uh, we have to make a state table and then state diagram so let's proceed the so analysis of clock sequential circuit we have to follow three ma main steps step one is write down the equation for the output and the flip flop inputs so uh, according to uh, the figure or given uh, we first from the circuit diagram found out the inputs and the outputs and uh, and then form boolean exp expression or equations using these circuits now the first step is from logic diagram we have to find input equation and then output equation now the second step is state table using these equation derive a state table which describe the next state so next state in in state table we have present state and next state present state uh, present state is the <coughs> The, is the normal states of, of the these flip flops and the next state is, is is given by the circuit diagram equation of these circuit diagrams okay now the third step third and the last step is obtain a state diagram for the state table so state state diagram state diagram will be easily formed after once we form the uh, once we, uh, we make state table so <laughs> this is not a big issue now note that it is a state table or state diagram that specify a behavior of the circuit so as behave the behavior of the circuit is totally de depend upon the state table or state diagram now the flip part uh, flip flop input equation are sometimes called the excite excitation equation yeah the flip flip flop input equation are sometimes called as excitation equation don't forget it's a very important uh, some sometimes you may confuse with with these uh, these words now the state table is sometimes called a transition table uh, th this is also a confusing word uh, never forget that state table is another name of transition table so now uh, that much in in this uh, analysis now we t now let's proceed to the next slide now in this <coughs> we will take a example and solve it um, so that the concept will be clear now <coughs> which uh, we will analyze the clock sequential circuit with d flip-flop so, so in the given circuit below two flip-flop are used both are d flip-flop here gates are used as a combinational logic logic now input combinational logic or output combinational logic <laughs> here in the circuit diagram you have we have seen that these two are the d flip-flops two flip-flops are used here and gates are used as a combinational input for input here these are inputs and these are outputs inputs and output logics now we will solve solve it using our analysis method now the step one first step is write down the equation for the output and the flip-flop input so here input is x <coughs> and output is y so uh, from the figure we know that this is a flip-flop a d flip-flop two d flip flop are given so for for this and gate we have one input as QA and other input as X so <coughs> this will the output of this flip-flop will be X X into QA now this will become the one of the input of this or get so and other 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 input will be the QB QB from the next um, flip flop um, next flip flop d flip flop will be given to the this or get so qb will be this flip flop now similarly we will find for this and gate and similarly in this manner we will find for all the gates so 
the uh, uh, we finally get da equal to x into qa plus qb and db equal to qa bar qb y equal to x bar qb bar plus x qa <laughs> now let's proceed to our second step our second step is state table state table for a state table we have present state and next state our present state is qa and qb and input is x where next state is qa plus and qb plus and output is y so from the from these two equations and the and we as we learned previous in in our flip flop that <coughs> the da and db will become the Q, next states of the flip flop so our qa plus will be da which is equal to x into qa plus qb and qa plus equal to db which is equal to qa plus Q, qa dash into qb and the y the output will be x bar qb bar plus x into qa so in this table <coughs> we will find that if qa is 0 qb is 0 x is also been 0 then qa plus and qb plus will be here if x is 0 whatever the qa doesn't matter it will be 0 and qb is 0 then it is 0 so qa plus will be 0 and for qb plus here it is db which is equal to qa dash and qb so qb is 0 so it will also doesn't matter it will also be 0 and for output y equal to x bar qb bar so 0 0 is 1 so this is whatever doesn't matter this if this is 1 so y will be 1 for for the first similarly we will solve all these and finally we we will con we will co complete this table you using that analysis uh, using that uh, these equations now the last one and the final is the state diagram in a state diagram we will <coughs> we will find four states for the first one is s0 s1 s2 and s3 so for for the first state 0 0 we have 0 for 0 0 here you see that q if in the table if qa and qb both are 0 and input it will be 0 input x will be 0 then qa plus and qb plus will also be 0 so this will return to the same state and our output will be 1 so this is one, this is 0 by 1 okay for the second case if Q, qa is zero, also 0 qb also 0 and input is 1 for that also we have we get the same state and for this output will be 0 now for 0 1 for 0 1 we have we will take first 0 as an input and then we get we will get uh, get 1 1 as our next state so 0 will be our input so 1 0 this 0 1 to 1 1 transition will be happen now in second case if 0 and 1 then input will be 1 1 1 will be occurred see again same case and here output will be 1 so in this case we will have 0 by 1 so okay 1 by 0 and this value 0 by 0 so now in in the next case 1 0 now here it is uh, our s2 is the, our third case which is 1 0 for 1 0 if we put input 0 x as 0 then we get qa plus and qb plus the next state as 0 0 0 0 here uh, we get output as 1 so we have 0 by 1 now <coughs> Again for 1 0 if we put input as 1 then we we get 1 0 again 1 0 the same uh, same state gate so the output will uh, output will be 1 so 1 by 1 now the last and the final state is 1 1 for 1 1 if we put it put input 1 input 0 then for input 0 we get 1 0 
one zero and now the output is also zero so this this will one will be zero by zero from uh, transition happens from one by one to one zero one one to one zero now for again one one we we get one one we get one zero so again transition will be happen for one and one also so your input will, will be one and output will be also be one so that much about the analysis of clock sequential circuit if you like the video please like share and subscribe for more visit our website www.eduhelpforyou.com thank you and have a nice day